I actually did take up growing some weed last year mm-hmm. in my backyard. Mm-hmm. So that went pretty well. I want to do that so yeah. bad. It, yeah. I've been doing it in the tents for a while. And I finally was like, I'm going to, you know, because then they passed the laws that you could, you know, possess and grow. And so I was like, well, fuck it. No one's going to fuck with me anymore. So I did it. And like, I, I came up with some problems like with bugs and stuff. And I really was trying hard to stay away from pesticides and just yeah. using like, but you're outside it's sun and soil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it was, it was a little tough, but I learned a lot and I think uh, that'll transfer over to next year. But you got but, a crop. Yeah. And it was smokeable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, moldy. yeah. Cause now it's, well, yeah, now it's been like four years. So, uh, yeah. so my tent game is fucking solid. Um, now I'm trying to get the, the outdoor game a little better, but I have a nice, like you said your tent game. Yeah, so I make. Is so it I, hydro or just lights no, and just, soil? Yeah, lights and soil. Okay. It's very simple. I mean, I don't, I don't use anything bigger than like a like a three gallon uh, sack. sack. Fill it up. I use um, like a lot of perlite to make it like super thin in the soil, so uh-huh. that way, like the fucking roots can just grow out really far. Nice. And then um, you got to be careful because like two of my tents are shorter so like you have to make sure your strains aren't going to flower up real high Sativa's or, you could, tall, right? or you could force the light on it for a couple of days and it won't stretch as much and then i have another tent that's like my height <clears throat> so i can grow a bigger plant like i'll get one in there and i'll just like train it to just bush out as much as i fucking can so it's cool it's and, so fun and then like you know you got to work on it like it's it's another thing like it's a fucking job because you got to cut is. it dry it cure it trim it like do all that shit and people don't realize like months even after you're done harvesting it to like to cure it to get it the way you want it yeah to taste the right way you know because if you're smoking shit like even a couple weeks after i know it can be problematic because of like like carbon the carbon in it or whatever like something in the leaves that it's still retained like the co2 that it collects like so you're trying to let it release that and and so it's it's a tricky game. I mean, I had a it was a little bit of a struggle those first few months doing it. Yeah. But after that, like it it really started taking off. And now I just like I don't measure anything. I just like I just know. I just yeah. feel it. And you just see your plants like they they start to they start to act funny. <laughs> and uh you just like you just start understanding like oh, I gave it too much of this and that's why those leaves are getting all crispy and and shit like that. So I tried to grow hydro once with like the personal production license years ago and yeah. uh I had like an iron deficiency or something. It took me okay. forever uh-huh. to triangulate what was going wrong, but like I I found this perfect poster with like the all the different nutrient deficiencies you could have. Yeah. And I matched it to the pattern on the leaf and I you know, it was a learning experience, but mm-hmm. I didn't even get taller than a foot. Yeah, um, before they died. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's ama- that's so fun. Uh, yeah, if you smoke fun. a lot of weed, it's like a lifestyle. Fuck yeah. You're smoking have... last year's crop while you're tending to this I mean, year's. Really, I'm smoking like uh, like winter's crop because I had you know because I, oh, I go through winter. Yeah, so I mean, um, and then even in the summer, like when I'm doing it outdoors, like I still do it inside too. It's tough because it gets hot as fuck. But I mean, if you have strains like I have strains now that I've been growing that seem to do fine in the 105 degree weather in Albuquerque. And it also can still grow when it drops to fucking 30 because those tents drop down to like 60 degrees uh, and the plants stress, but they like the few I've been growing, like they still just get through it and they heart and they fruit and they well, flower. Yeah, it's like biology. It's built into all the genetic code yeah. to deal with some stress. If you have no stress, it's probably unnatural. Sure. That's why hydro is a little creepy. <laughs> yeah. It's you like, uh, it's almost like. Um, I think soil is easier too. So because, easier, you, yeah, because you can amend, yeah. you can change. Um, you know, I think with the hydro, because the roots are exposed that way and you're like injecting fertilizer and you have to make sure like the. Solution. Yeah. Like it's right at the right pH and everything. Like mm-hmm. I think there's a lot more you could have issues with whereas mm-hmm. with soil it's like yeah i'm a little off on the ph but it'll start to balance itself out. well the roots go to where the soil is appropriate yeah yeah so it'll it, it's it's different mm-hmm. um but it it's another like love of mine that i don't talk about very much so uh i hope it becomes a love of mine i'm gonna get into <laughs> fishing this year okay and, and eating be, the fish i catch that'll be cool and then once i own a house somewhere yeah i'll uh i'll grow oodles of weed oh yeah 